Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me here on my YouTube channel. I wanted to share with you guys a little uh, video and give you a quick little tour of my craft room and share with you guys where I do my crafting as well as my uh, filming for my videos and tutorials. It's only a quick little uh, tour. Hopefully I'll be able to do another uh, video and give you a more detailed look and share with you guys uh, where I store my craft supplies uh, as well as my Etsy products and my storage cabinets. Uh, so I do hope you enjoy this uh, little tour and um, I'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm going to uh, turn the camera around so that we're able to head inside my little uh, craft room and then I'll be able to share with you a quick little tour of my craft space. So we're going to head inside and here is my little boy. He's fast asleep. He's always with me when I'm crafting. If I'm in this room, he's always in here, but he's always asleep, generally. All right, so we're inside my craft space now, and um, it's not a big room. It's uh, just a small room down the end of the house, but I am quite happy with the space. I had done a, a room tour video, I think last year, of my setup as well. I have changed the layout since then, and I'm quite happy with how it's um, laid out this time around. Um, I've got more space to do more more work and more storage uh, area as well. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to do another video and give you a more detailed look of where I store all my craft supplies and my Etsy products as well and my storage cabinets and what I store in the drawers. But this will be just a quick little tour just so you can see where I craft and where I also do my filming for my videos. So we're going to start with this side of the room first. Um, as you can see, that's my craft desk. Uh, when I film, I have a camera holder that I use to hold the camera. And when I'm not filming, I just put that away in the storage drawer and then I can continue crafting. And then uh, these drawers here that you see and the table and some of my other uh, shelving, uh, I got them all from Ikea, but the little... Uh, shelvings that you see that's on top of my desk they're all mostly from Kmart here in Sydney and from um, other department stores but I'm going to start and just show you this side of the room and then we'll go around I have here a little small uh, shelving unit that unit was from Kmart and I still think they have them available here in Sydney and then up here I have a acrylic uh, compartment box and I've got in here some of my past projects that I had done uh, for my uh, YouTube and shared them on my Instagram and I like to have that there because sometimes I like to look back at some of my projects to get some inspiration or if I wanted to change some of the uh, layout and the way I've done the uh, projects so I like to have them there and it's just nice to always look back at some of my work and then on my desk here, I have another um, clear storage compartment. These compartments that I have here, they're also from Kmart. And I still stock them in any of the Sydney Kmart stores as well. And I've got in here some more of my little mini, uh, little mini albums and projects that I had shared. And again, I like to have them close by if I need to have a look at them again. I got a um, little, not really little, but I've got a storage box here full of little bits and pieces if I want to do some embellishing. And I've got so much little bits and pieces. Look at this. So it's really, it's always there for me. If I want to just use them to add to a project, I've got them all here. I have some little jars of some embellishments, tassels, pom-poms, uh, wood pegs. And they were also available at easy for me to reach. I've got some little drawers here where I've got some uh, like uh, jewelry making supplies for my planner clips if I want to make my planners. So they're all in here. And then I've got larger jars up here of paper flowers that I've just color coordinated them. They're all a mix of Prima flowers and other flowers from other crafting companies. I've got embellishments. And then over here, I've got some acrylic uh, storage boxes as well for my 
tassels and flower dangles. The buckets I have other craft supplies. And I've got here a, another little box. These are just some of my packaging things that I like to add inside my little uh, projects. If I need to fill up the pockets just so I could see if that would fit in the pockets and for the uh, projects. I have tools on that side. I have some sequins. These are just some of the sequins. I have more in my ward wardrobe storage area. And then along the side here, I have a window view of the street, which is lovely to have. And it's a really lovely day today. It's a beautiful day. And then below the window, I have a storage unit. Again, they're from Ikea as well. And over here to the left is a three tier trolley. And I've got all of my uh, scoring tools, my scissors, some small uh, paper punches, some more paper goodies in there and my glue. And these are just easily for me to reach if I need to use those tools. So down below are storage areas um, where I keep some papers, uh, my camera equipment. And then along here is my die cutting station. And this is my Sizzix Big Shot die cutting machine, which I have had, I've had now I think for about for six years, maybe a little bit longer. And it is the best machine. And I also have a little mini one called a cut and go mini for my smaller dies if I don't want to use the larger size. Uh, so with the larger Sizzix machine. And this is my little scrap bin um, that's from Lotso Style. They have some great little uh, mini bins in their store. And up here is my Heidi Swap Memory Deck Spinning Machine, which I still need to fill up of my memory decks. This is one that I've made. And I also have some that had been gifted to me in the past uh, when I had done some memory deck swaps. So they're just all placed there. So I need to get back and start working on some of these memory decks cards and fill up the spinning machine, uh, spinny, the spinner. And then up here is my um, three-tiered caddy that I had made. I uh, had done a tutorial on this as well. Um, you can use your six by six papers to make these little compartment baskets. I have a whole heap of little um of my paper flowers that i had made and then these ones here these were gifted to me by tina she is mrs everly here on youtube and also on instagram and she gifted these to me i think last year and they're just so cute really lovely little layered papers so that's where i keep some of my paper flowers and then i've also made this pom-pom here to decorate that, that's cute. And then along the side here are my 12 by 12 papers. They're just some of my papers, that's not all of them. I've just stored some in there. And then coming along to this side of the wall, I have my Cricut and printing station where I uh, print my labels and do some printing. I have my planners. And then down here I have a basket full of paper scraps which my daughter was supposed to give me a hand in sorting these out but it's all right for now at least it's easy for me to get to as well and i have a handmade drawn uh painting here it was actually hand drawn um portrait kind of uh, picture that was gifted to me by my daughter's boyfriend's mum she uh drew this isn't this just beautiful um she gifted this to me for my 50th birthday last year and it was hung up on the wall up the top there but the hook broke and it fell so my husband needs to replace the hook so I could hang that back up but um it's okay there for now and then above here I have another three-tiered mini caddy similar to the one I just showed you um, that's a square size and then I have here the we are memory keepers bloom storage compartment 
and this was gifted to me by my daughters for my birthday a couple of years ago and it is fantastic and I think this comes in a smaller size as well so when you turn it I'll just move that you just turn it and it spins isn't this just fantastic it turns out into like a little flower full of like a flower shaped storage trays where you can place all of your embellishments and then up here is another little compartment in the center and it turns easily it closes and opens pretty easily as well so that's another good little place for me to store I'll, I'll leave that there for now and then I've also got these jars at the back where I've got some paper confetti for my packaging of my Etsy orders that I use. I've got some more papers here as well, just bits and pieces. And then down below here, I've got some more storage for my dies. I think my dies are in there, more papers and then packaging stuff for my Etsy shop. And then in this, a double door storage area, that's also my... Uh, Etsy products that are all in there as well as some stationery above the wardrobe I have a basket up here and I have all of my incoming happy mail that I had been that had been sent to me in the past and they're all kept in there and I am so grateful that I had some lovely uh, pen pals and swap partners in the past when when I used to do uh, a lot of uh, swaps so also some surprise happy mail as well that was just randomly gifted to me so thank you to those that have gifted me those uh, wonderful um, happy mail goodies and then I've got here a plastic compartment as well and that's where I got I have in there uh, some scrap papers my strips of scrap papers ephemeras die cuts and cut aparts so that's just another spot where I keep them and I use that quite a lot so it's just easy for me to get to and then I've got these two boxes and they're also full of my completed projects which are my larger project that I have also made and then I have another three tiered storage compartment drawer here that still needs to be organized I've got my double sided tape in there I have uh, just bits and pieces I have my glue dots and my glue dot runners all of my little glue bottles. So I've got heaps of those. Uh, down below here, I have my larger uh, uh, punches. And these are just some of them as well. I have more behind the wardrobe as well. Uh, some more of my paper goodies that I had made. Uh, these are three by four journaling cards. And at the back, I also have uh, the four by six journaling cards as well. So that's in there. And then behind the uh, little caddy in the double door wardrobe, I have a heap more uh, of papers, crafting tools, uh, craft supplies, uh, papers. Yes, yeah, so, so much stuff in there as well, which we'll, I can get to that next time when I do another video. Um, so that is my quick little tour of my little craft room. And munchy that's what we call him as his nickname he's still asleep <laughs> but um yeah so i hope you've enjoyed my little tour so i'm just going to come outside just so you can see the view uh, from a bigger angle so you can see it's not a big room but i do hope you enjoyed this really quick tutorial sorry not tutorial a quick tour of my craft room and hopefully I'll be able to show you a little bit more in another video. So again, thank you for joining me and I hope I'll see you all soon in my next video for more projects. Bye for now.